what's up guys welcome back to the channel this is me solomon wisdom aka born to trade and today we're still talking about the profitable london session strategy you know earlier this week i dropped a lesson on how you can take advantage of london session yeah we know that the high or the low of the day is likely going to be formed during the london session now another important thing i didn't do that day was the entry pattern i asked you guys to do it yourself you guys said you should drop to a lower time frame to look for your entry confirmation but a lot of people still suggested i should do the entry pattern how it's going to be identified so what i'm basically going to do i'm going to drop a step-by-step -step explanation of how to trade this profitable london session strategy okay and in this case i'm going to add the entry okay how you can actually get entry pattern so let me do a quick sketch on the screen and explain this mind you if you are new to the channel consider subscribing to this channel actually we talk about profitable strategies that can actually transform your trading career to a better one okay so if you're interested in that consider subscribing to this channel and we equally have a free telegram community which you can actually join us to build your way to step to financial consistency okay so let's do this quickly just like i said i'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step explanation right now so you can actually be a little bit simpler and understandable so let's start with the daily open so okay this is when asian session starts so you're going to go to your price chart and identify this particular time zone and the next thing you're actually going to do is identify the london open when the london session starts so you're going to still go to your price chart and identify that now the london session starts by 8 a.m so actually going to identify 8 a.m on your price chart so it's, it's good i label this so if you're confused you can actually understand that so this is when the london session usually starts this we have right here is actually the asian session now when we're going to be looking for our entry is during the london session and if you actually get our entry during the london session we can hold our trade throughout the london session london new york overlap till the end of the new york session okay you can actually do that so new york session ends by 11 pm okay so you know when you can actually close your trade but it doesn't mean you cannot you should always wait for new york session to close before you close your trades okay this is actually based on personal preference you can choose to hold your trades till the new york close you can actually close your trade based on risk to reward ratio and you can actually close your trade maybe based on highs and lows significant highs and lows maybe because of news events or maybe any personal preference at all but any pattern you use in closing your trade does have it in mind that you have to stick to that pattern you don't have to change pattern or plans from time to time have a pattern that you always use so this is our time zone right here now what you're gonna note is this is actually our asian range and what we have in between here is london and new york session but when we want to get our entry is during the london session now during the asian session the kind of price action we usually see in the market is a slow price action okay price might actually be in a range just like this so when you see price in this kind of range what you basically want to do is you want to identify the high and the low of the range now this is the highest high of the asian range and this is the lowest low of this asian range now when you identify your highest high and the lowest low of the asian range once london session opens what you're going to anticipate is a manipulation in the market because this range right here we already understand okay there are liquidity resting above the high and at the low of this range so the expectation is that price is actually going to sweep either the high or the low of the range before it moves to the opposite direction and this sweeping of the high is what we call a manipulation where breaker traders is going to anticipate a continuation to the upside then the liquidity here must be swept then you're going to see a reversal to the opposite direction so this is what you basically want to see in the market right now so during the london session this is what you might actually see price might actually range till it gets into london before we now see the sweep of liquidity okay before price takes the liquidity at this low in some other cases price might not actually range into london we might actually see a liquidity sweep immediately now when we see this liquidity sweep what we're going to anticipate is a reversal to the opposite direction this is how this strategy is being traded talking about the entry i will suggest you use which is best for this strategy so when you see the liquidity sweep of this low what you're basically going to do is i would advise you drop to the lower time frame okay i would advise you drop to the lower time frame to look for your entry confirmation what is going to be the confirmation you're going to need 
the confirmation you're going to need is what we call lower time frame confirmation where you're going to drop to different time frame now for this analysis you can actually do your analysis on the 30 minutes or on the 15 minutes time frame depending on the time frame you prefer but now talking about the entry once there is a sweep of liquidity on any side of the range that is during the london session what you can actually do is you can actually drop to your five minutes or to your 15 minutes time frame to get your entry okay now what you're basically going to do is you're going to look for a market structure shift on that your entry time frame and what does it look like we want to see price give us a market structure shift on the lower time frame now what you're basically going to do is you're going to be looking at price when price has actually swept the low so you're going to see some price action like this on the lower time frame where price is going to be forming maybe highs and lows like this now what you're going to do is you're going to expect a shift in structure now when you get this shift in structure right here this is a market structure shift now the series of candle that swept the most recent low before that shift in structure is your entry block okay that's going to serve as your other block because this is the lowest low so after this low we had this shift in structure so let me do it this way this was the lowest point before we see this shift in structure right here now what you're basically going to do is you're going to mark this zone that is the whole candle the series of candle that swept this low as your other block so it's going to look like this but that is what we call zone refinement personally i take zone refinement into consideration i don't actually play with zone refinement so what i basically do is i might actually refine to another candle depending but this is actually the main zone right here okay the, the main zone you should be looking at is the series of candle that swept the liquidity at the low before the reversal that's the main other block you're going to look to trade from right now what you're going to anticipate is price is going to mitigate our zone then the distribution to the opposite direction on the other hand we might not actually get some price action right like this because you know we had a liquidity sweep so in some other case you might actually see price sweeps liquidity and you're going to see another rapid expansion to the upside right we are going to see a rapid expansion so when you see something like this it means that this series of candle right here that swept the liquidity at this low is going to serve as your order block now what you're going to do is you're going to mark it and expect price to retest so you get your entry just like i said i usually refine my zone so it just depends sometimes when i refine my zone price mitigates you're going to get the best risk to reward ratio but in some other hand when you refine your zone price might not actually get to your zone it might move away without you getting involved in this trade so in this case when we see this we're going to anticipate a retest and a continuation to the upside now when you get your continuation to the upside you're going to hold your trade till your profit target is hit okay so this is a very simple strategy very very simple strategy let's see some life example now last week we saw examples on euro usd and today we're going to do it on gbp us remember i said you have to trade this price action on euro pairs and gbp pairs now if you're actually trading it on euro pairs i think you shouldn't consider euro jpy okay euro jpy shouldn't be considered because i think jpy pair is actually active during the asian session it doesn't have this kind of slow price action it's actually active during the asian session so euro jpy and gbp jpy should be disregarded so let's see live examples right now so let's start from this area right here this is actually gbp us dodo 15 minutes time frame now what you have to notice this price action doesn't work all day but once you see it on the price chart try to take advantage of that okay so this is actually yesterday's price action on gu so let's start from yesterday being the 14th day of march 2023 the 14th day of march so what actually happened you firstly we have to identify the asian open that is by 12 a.m so let's try to identify that 12 is at 12 a.m should be right it should be around here so this is 12 a.m right here so you've identified that so what you're basically going to do is we're going to take price back so we're going to see this price action then know how to take advantage of that so now we've identified the asian open another thing that is actually important you need to identify is the london open it opens by 8 a.m so we're going to identify that so this is 8 a.m so what we have inside this space is actually asian session now another important thing you have to do is have to mark the high and the low of the asian session to be sure you've actually marked the correct liquidity area so this is the high of the range right here and this is actually the current low of the range right here so this is actually important you mark this now plain price for to see what we have now price is still in the asian range and you still have to mark the current low now extending the low to the lowest points inside the asian range 
and finally we had the london open so this is actually the range liquidity at the highs of the range and at the low of the range now what you're going to anticipate is a liquidity sweep on any of the side if price sweeps the high we we look for entry and trade to the downside and if price sweeps the low we're going to look for entry to trade to the upside so let's see now what we see is that price sweeps the liquidity at the high now we're going to have an expectation that the high of the day is going to be formed during this london session and what we have to do is we have to drop to a lower time frame for our entry the ideal time frame that could serve as an entry time frame could be your five minutes time frame or the three minutes time frame in this case we're going to look at the five minutes time frame so this is the five minutes time frame right here and we actually see the asian range the liquidity was swept now what you're going to anticipate is a market structure shift right any low we see price shifting in structure is going to serve as the correct market structure shift so price is actually trending to the upside now we have a significant pullback a very nice pullback in this case so let's see what we have now price continues to push to the upside and finally we have another break of structure so what you can actually see here is that price takes this high so this signifies that there is no bearish intention at the moment we still bullish now this is the low price needs to take before we're going to identify this as a valid market structure shift in this case we're still trending up no sign of bearish intention now in this case what you can actually see is we have a pullback after we had this little pullback another continuation to the upside so this indicates that we still bullish okay this the actual high then this was the lowest point that formed this particular high so if price takes this low we're going to anticipate a possible market structure shift and now you see price sweeps the liquidity at this low and moves back into this range now when i'm going to identify this as a valid market structure shift is if price close below this low okay so we're still looking at what price is doing and finally price closed below this particular low right here so this is now a valid market structure shift for me now trying to mark the correct zone which you're going to trade from remember i said the particular candle that swept the high before the shift is your zone now if you want to mark the candle that swept the zone before the shift this is what the candle looks like okay so this is your correct zone right here okay but personally based on the way i trade i'm not even going to mark this zone like this the way i'm going to look the candle i'm going to look at is this particular zone we have right here you see we have a zone right here and we have pricing efficiency at this area so this is the particular candle i'm going to look at but let's use the right zone because i don't think price actually got to that particular zone okay so let's use the correct zone for this strategy so if you're marking i think you should also include the week of this zone which is actually very very important so this is what your zone should look like except you want to take zone refinement into consideration so let's press price forward and see what we have nice see price comes back mitigates this as well now the expectation is that price is going to drop to the downside and price dropping to the downside we're going to expect that price is going to take this sell side liquidity we have right here very very important so let's see how this actually plays out there i think i have to speed price up at this moment to see remember this price action was actually from yesterday it wasn't from last year it wasn't from last two years what i'm showing you basically throughout this year is current price actions what is happening in the market not what has happened from years okay so this is our current price action so this should actually help you do your back test properly if you want to back test the strategy this is gbp usd you can actually search for it on your gbp and euro pairs very very important if you want to do your own personal back test so i'm playing price for right now what you can see is price moved away okay at first price mitigates retraced to the downside you see after price sweeps the sell side liquidity price with this returns back once more retest the zone once more and we see that expansion to the downside and you see price is still expanding to the downside okay so this is the distribution phase right here after we had this accumulation phase got our entry right here then price distributes to the downside so this is actually a very very simple strategy which you can actually use if you're looking to combine your strategy with time if you're looking to trade a session based strategy is actually a nice one so let's go back to the 15 minutes time frame and see more example so here's the 15 minutes time frame and like i said this is yesterday's price action so let's look for a day before the yesterday today is actually 15th day of march and this price action we see right here is on the 14th day of march so let's see what happened on the 13th day of march which is right here so let's try to identify this specified time that is the asian open which is by 12 a.m so when is it this is actually 12 a.m right here so i think i have to take price back so we can actually see so this is 12 a.m right here now another important thing we need to do is to mark 
the London Open. So when is it going to be the London Open? By 8 o'clock. So this is actually 8 o'clock right here. Now, since we marked the specified time, this I'm actually marking here, just like I said last week, if you're using your trade view, you can actually do this with your indicators. Indicators like FX market session, we have market session indicators, we have ICT market session, all those session indicators. All you have to do is just set your time zone and make corrections if it's not actually accurate to your specified time, then you are good to go, very easy. But I'm just marking this for the sake of this lesson, okay? If I'm using my trade view, I don't have time to mark these indicators actually help me out. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna mark the high and the low of the range. Currently, it's the lowest point of the range, which you're actually seeing right now. And where is the high of the range? This is actually the highest high of the range currently. Now we have to wait for London open. So we're actually gonna play price forward to London open. This is actually the current low. Uh, this is actually the high right here. So let's see. And this is basically what Asian range looks like. We're not gonna see price moving too fast. We're gonna see price just be in a range. That is a slow price action inside the range. So this is the low. And this is the high of the range now what are we going to anticipate you're going to anticipate that price is actually going to take the high of the range then move to the opposite direction on the other hand it can actually take the low of the range before moving to the opposite direction so let's see where price sweeps liquidity first now what we see is price sweeps the liquidity at the low of the range what are we going to do drop into a lower time frame for our entry so moving to the five minutes time frame so this is actually the five minutes time frame right here and what you basically do right now is we're going to look for our entry we are going to anticipate a shift in market structure then we look to enter our trade so playing price forward to see if you actually get that what you see is price continue to push to the downside now we're getting a move to the upside now what you're going to note is at this point we don't actually have a shift yet if price takes this high then it's going to serve our shift in structure now if price takes this high where is going to be the zone we're going to look to trade from this series of candles that swept this low is going to be the candle we're going to look to trade from you see these bearish candles that swept the liquidity is going to be the candle we're going to look to trade from okay so that's going to serve as a market structure sheet so let's see now you see price spikes above the high now finally price close above this particular high i hope you can clearly see that price action after it swept this low moves to the upside sweeps the liquidity at this particular high so this is the valid market structure shift you've seen at this point now what is going to be your expectation what are you going to anticipate your anticipation is that price is going to retest these candles that swept that low because that particular low is going to serve as your zone so this is actually your correct zone right here if you actually want to trade from this area this is the right zone the candle that swept the lowest low or the liquidity area before the shift in structure so this is it right here but personally based on the personal preference the way i told you i usually trade i'm gonna to look to refine my zone maybe this small candle right here i can actually look to refine to this candle because you see i have inefficiency inefficiency here can actually serve as my inducement area on the other hand i can actually look to refine to this particular candle making sure i include the wick of this zone and we still have inefficiency inside my candle so this is actually a good one another important confluence i'm seeing here is we have this inducement area right here so this is actually a perfect setup for me if i actually want to take a trade from this particular area now another thing you have to always put in consideration is you always have to add few pips below your zone very very important you have to add few pips below your zone making sure you giving space for spreads and uh, maybe little manipulations in the market so playing price for to see what we have now you see price comes back to mitigate our zone so seeing and uh, what you can actually see at this point is that price sweeps the low before the distribution to the upside now if you measure this liquidity sweep or will i say stop hunt you have right here, this is actually less than one pip so it's always important you add few pips below your zone each time you're looking for your entry so playing price forward to see what we have i see price moves away even though we haven't slow price action right here but what we note is price moves away so if you actually got your entry right here to this high or to this particular high this will actually offer about one is to four but if you refine to the smallest candle i think you're going to get about one is to five freaks reward ratio so i still have more examples but i say let me just use this most recent price actions that is the one we had on the 14th and the one we had on the 13th but i don't think maybe 12 i don't think we actually have a profitable one there i think the one we had there was actually failed price action so this is it about how you can actually get your entry and take advantage of the london session because from what you've seen 
from the examples we've seen so far the low of the day was actually formed during the london session i hope you can see the low was formed and finally price rallies to the upside and closed back into the range. and the next day what you actually see is the high of the day was formed during london session and price moves away to the opposite direction so this is actually a very very good strategy if you want to look to trade that so thanks very much for watching this one it's a very good lesson what i need you to do is actually to go to your price chart and back test if you want to build on this strategy make it your own strategy move to the price chart back test it and look to master it okay so thanks very much and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing to the channel consider joining our telegram community see you in the next lesson